All right, guys. Welcome to chest day. We're going to be doing... I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do. Because again, I mentioned this later in the video, I just finished my workout and I forgot to record the car talk beforehand. So I'm recording it after the workout. Uh, I'm going to be doing barbell bench, incline bench. Oh, that's a cute pit bull. I love old dogs. They deserve love. Um, all dogs, all pets, all animals deserve love. Um, we're going to be doing barbell incline and peck deck. That's it for, for chest. And then standing lateral raises, seated lateral raises for side delts. And that's it. That's the workout. Probably about, I don't know, 40 minutes of cardio to start. That's just an assumption. Um, I did want to say... On my TikTok channel, I met, I think I mentioned this in there. Some someone asked me for for, for like I mentioned. Oh yeah, I, I wasn't doing squats yesterday because um, I injured my foot, and they're like, "Foot injury? I'm a visual learner." Wink, wink. Uh, dude, what the fuck? Are you what? I laughed so hard when I saw that. See, I don't know if that person was serious or what, but that shit was hilarious. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not used to, uh, I mean, I'm used to that kind of joke, but I don't know if the person was joking, so I'm not used to getting hit on, I guess, if that's what it actually was. Um, it was weird to me. Anyways, enough of that. If you are into feet, good on you, I don't care, no judgment. Um, anyways, sorry about that. Uh, just gotta go home. I hurt myself again at work. Stepped on something, like, you know, in the cartoons when you someone steps on a rake in a farm and it smacks them in the face. It was like that, but with, these are, they're called brick tongs. I stepped on one end, it flipped up, hit me right in the knee. It was a piece of metal that just dug right into the side of my knee. Took me out. I would have to sit down for, like, a minute. I was really sad about it. I felt real stupid. Um, so one thing I wanted to talk about, actually, I noticed this in the gym today when the trainer was training someone. Um, he kept telling the guy all these tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff, but the guy just wasn't getting it. Sometimes, no matter what you tell someone, they're not going to get it. I used to teach martial arts and I would tell the students, you know, all the kind of metaphors and tips and tricks I could do, I could think of. I would come up with games to try and get them to make the connection in their mind, but they just can't get it. Um, but then one day, they've just been practicing, 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 showing up, putting in the work. It just clicks. So nothing really beats firsthand experience. I think I talked about this before a little differently, but... You can get all the tips and tricks from people. You can like, you know, look it up on YouTube. You can read about it, but actually getting in there and doing the work, that's really going to get you far. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't look, at, look up all the information you can get. Look it up. The more you know, right? The, the better it is. But honestly, as long as you're not trying to do crazy heavy weights you shouldn't risk injuries um if you're doing pretty light moderate weight and you're not doing the exercise right maybe you just won't feel it in the right place but you're probably not gonna throw your back or whatever it's when you start ego lifting and you don't have the proper form i didn't have the proper form for a long time for a lot of things deadlifts i'm actually not sure if i have the proper form right now maybe i'll do deadlifts tomorrow and then i'll see it on tape and that way I can critique it because I've never actually seen myself do a deadlift. Um, I'm not against deadlifts. I just haven't done it in a long time because I've been trying to train like a bodybuilder. And then I've heard a bunch of sources say don't do deadlifts because obviously because you're working so many muscles and the, the risk to reward ratio. I just won't go super heavy. So the risk to reward ratio isn't too bad. Um... But 
um, I mean, Seabum does deadlifts. A lot of top bodybuilders. I mean, the top bodybuilder for physique, Seabum, does deadlifts. So they're, he doesn't do them just because, oh, you know, I was bored. I felt like doing it. No, he does it for a purpose. He does it as a part of his training. So maybe there is some merit to the to deadlifts. So maybe I might give deadlifts a try tomorrow or next back day or sometime this year. Um, what, my birthday is, is on a Friday? I think it's a, if, my, if it's a back day, maybe, I don't know. For my birthday, I want to do something special for myself at the gym, maybe. You know, I'll torture myself for maybe two hours of cardio. Um, it is a Friday, actually. I'm probably going to be working that day. Uh, that's just me rambling. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, actually go to the gym, start working out. So if you see an exercise and you want to try it out, try it out. Go ahead. Who cares if you look stupid? You only look stupid to yourself. No one's really looking at you and judging you. The only thing if someone's looking at you and they're going, mm, maybe you're not doing it right, but they're not judging you. They probably want to help. They're just too shy. Or they're judging you. And who gives a fuck if they're judging you? That means that person's an asshole, right? Who cares if an asshole judges you? Their opinion matters 0%, a big zero. They don't matter, okay? And good people, they're just looking out for you. So anyways, yeah, who cares if you look stupid? Try it out, and then if you don't like it, you don't like it. If you do like it, you like it. And if you're unsure, try it again. Maybe uh, um, read up on it some more, watch some more videos, get some tips and tricks, and then keep doing it because maybe you feel like, oh, there's potential here. Maybe I'll really like this exercise when I learn how to do it right, when I learn the mind-muscle connection. Um, so just my advice there is just go to the gym, get your reps in, practice makes perfect. Not really, but practice makes near perfection, right? Okay. Uh, that's enough for today. Still thinking about that cheat day. What I'm going to eat when I get home. Not much. Ramen probably. And then what I'm going to eat on my cheat day. I can't stop thinking about it. Um, tomorrow and Thursday. The next two days. I'm probably not going to go to work. There is supposed to be like a snowstorm. So not going to be driving around in that weather. But I will be going to the gym. And if the gym is not an option, I will work out at home and I'll film that. I have a little gym at home. I can do a back workout at home. I got free weights. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, anyways, that's enough for that. I'll catch you in the gym. I'll see you in a second. Oh, there goes that uh, cute pit bull again. Just going for a nice walk. All right, I'll see you in the gym. Okay, same as I've been doing for the past few chest sessions we're starting with barbell um i assume i'm probably going to be a little weak today because i've consumed maybe 1600 calories in the past three days so i don't have a lot of energy to burn aside from this fat here maybe some muscle all right so one 85. I'm going to try to get 8 reps. If not, if I can only manage 6, I'll drop it down a bit. No shame in that. Got eight. Let's try that again. Ooh. 
I apologize for uh, for my videos being a little weird but with the workout happening and then I do the car talk but I put the car talk in front of the workout I'm just very forgetful in these past few sessions I've been forgetting to, to do the talk before the gym and then I get here and I'm like oh shit I'm so stupid but uh, I'll do better tomorrow at least I'll try forgive me anyways I'm going to drop the weight down a little bit Honestly, I've been holding my heart for the past like, two sets. Still holding it. So I'm going to start off with uh, just a silly first set where I'm just going to slow the weight around. Not really slow and controlled. I'll still try to get a good stretch, but I just feel like doing something fun. Don't judge. So for the last set, I'm going to be nice and slow controlled, dropping the weight down from 190 to 130. Let's see how many we can get. What was that? 800? Ooh. All right, side belts. All right, moving on to side belts. Lateral raises. Pretty straightforward. Preferably, you shouldn't really be going too high. You shouldn't be going any higher than like 40 if you're huge. But if you're just a, a beginner like me, 10 to 25 pounds, 25 is even pushing it. This might be only stroking my ego. But uh, yeah, if you feel it in your traps too much, you drop the weight, it, you, want, you want to feel it in your side delts. You know the crazy thing is, I don't even use my headphones for music, like, you know, there's no music. I use it for the noise cancelling. I work out to silence now. Weird. All right, let's just do some seated for some variation. So sometimes I like seated, sometimes I don't. Honestly, it's just good for um, 
if you have a film with swinging and using momentum, it's harder to get momentum when you're seated. So maybe seated is the superior version. Maybe I'm going to drop the weight now. And my excuse is that my delts are tired from the previous standing lateral raises. Okay. So, yesterday, someone accused me on TikTok of taking steroids. They keep saying that. It's gonna go to my head, guys. I said that was my dream. I didn't think anyone would suspect that of me right now, since I really consider myself more fat and fit. But uh, it felt good to hear. I'm gonna do one more set. But I'll see you guys in the change room. Okay, side delts done. I did what six sets total of that. Six or seven sets of chest. Honestly, kind of feel like it wasn't the best chest workout. I feel like I should have done chest press, but for some reason I was really feeling the flies. But, uh, oh well, we'll get them next time. All right, let's check out the pump. Okay. <sighs> You're kind of lightheaded. Holding poses like that. Ooh. Okay. Hey, why not? Let's do the vacuum since you guys want to see all this jiggle. I can't even do the vacuum properly. Suck all the air out of your stomach, but then when I pump up my chest, I feel like I'm sticking my stomach out. Oh my God, I hurt my shoulder somehow. Screw that, no more vacuums. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go film the car talk, but uh, cardio's done, workout's done. I'll see you, to, I'll see you guys tomorrow for uh, back, rear delts. Day 17 of my cut is tomorrow. Today, go home. Maybe I'll have a protein bar, I don't know. I'll make a short about it. You'll see. All right, see you later.